Yes! Hey, what's going on, Urban Adventures? I don't know if you guys can see me yet. It's uh, almost uh, line end time, so we got a few minutes before 5.30, before we start casting. Marking a lot of fish underneath us. I think a lot of these are just uh, panfish, bluegills, crappies, and whatever. So I do hear a lot of fish splashing that do sound like bass, but don't know yet. So, <clears throat> but anyways, we are out here on, uh, this is uh, the fifth tournament for the club, and this is my second tournament. So I uh, took second last week, and uh, hopefully we could do the same this week, at least top three or so. We'll see what we can do. It's going to be a lot of tougher conditions today. The water is very murky. Uh, a lot of algae on top of the water. It's uh, basically like pea soup. So, but yeah, I'm marking a lot of fish. So, I mean, that gives me a little hope that we're going to do okay out here. Hopefully top three. That's what I'm aim aiming for. So, all right, guys, let's get to it. It's almost time to start casting. All right, guys, it is 5.30. Time to start casting, see what we can do. I'm gonna first start off with some, uh, with my wacky rig. Cast underneath some of these docks. Then I'm gonna cast a couple spinner baits. See what we can uh, produce. Hopefully winners today, hopefully winners. Docks usually produce for me, even though, even if they're just small fish, but I'll take anything over 12 inches today. Again, one of our main goal out here is to make a lot of commotion because the water is very murky. Where it's gonna be very murky and then the fish is gonna feed off of uh, sight and sound. Well, probably not sight, but I'm gonna be feeding off of sound. Frog would be real good for this application right now too. But my goal is to use a little bait that I can slowly retrieve and make a lot of noise and the buzz bait is probably the top bait for that application. Yes, big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Oh my god. Big bass. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, look what we just caught. Dang, man, look at this. Came out of nowhere. Oh, I just changed into a orange uh, tandem spinner. Oh, I think, man, if I'm gonna catch anything, this is the winner right here, guys. Well, I gotta make sure I get it measured first oh man this is so awesome guys 
This has got to be at least 18 or so. Let's put them in the net for now. Right. Oh man, it hit so hard. I thought it was a pike. I thought it was a pike, guys. Oh man, let's get the camera ready. Oh, I am so pumped right now. I am like beyond words. Ugh. All right, guy, don't escape. Don't escape. Sixteen three quarter. Oh. Oh, hold on, guy. Hold on. I need you. I need you. Hold on. Hold on. Get you back in the net. Two point, two point seven three, guys. Two point seven three. Let's let this guy go. All right, one more time. Let's let it go. Yes, let's go get another one, guys. Let's go get another one. And it is now. What time is it now? It is 7.30 a.m. now. We launched it at 5.30. And this is my first fish of the day. My first fish of the day. Ooh, it got me pumped now. Let's go catch another one. Okay, just a quick recap of uh, the morning so far. It is quarter to eight right now. It is very foggy out here. Land of that 16 and 3 quarter largemouth. That thing hit pretty hard. I was looking at the standings. I'm still the biggest fish right now, so unless uh, people are not submitting the fish yet. The next one down is 16 and a half inches. So, so there's a chance that I'm I'm top three for now. Fishing around these docks. As the day progresses, it's actually getting more and more foggier. So I'm just gonna stay close to shore. I do have a GPS, so I don't have a issue getting back to the dock, but with a fog like this, it's it could be dangerous with uh, boulders. So far, I've only seen one boulder. It was a uh, water skiing before. I got this foggy. But once it started getting foggy like this, it uh, looks like he went back in, so. Oh! What the heck? The line broke. Oh man. I backlashed and line broke. All right, guys, as you can see, the weather's getting bad. It's starting to get dark now. The wind's picking up. Half of us are back. The, the ones that were launched here, half of us are back anyways. So, all right. How you doing? Good, Good. how are you? Yeah, you just got all past that storm. I see that storm yeah. coming. I see him come by my house. I wanted to quick flag him down. I was standing on the pier waving at you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see you, I saw you. Well, I thought maybe, you know, I, I've been out in kayaks. I've got stuck before. <laughs> I know what it's like. These are nice. Yeah, okay, thank you. really nice. Oh, thank you. So now these are the paddle? The, the, the paddle? Yeah, yeah, that's the, it's called the Mirage Drive. So it's got fins. Okay. And this one's got the, the trolley motor on it. Oh, this one does. Yeah, that's got the... Why do you guys are really fast? This 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys do a lot of fishing, I take it. Yeah. Yeah. You go all over then? And, yeah, and all over. I'm from uh, Minnesota, so yeah, I'm here. So. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you guys got some of the best fishing up in Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah, Where we do, but uh, it's it's a lot of private access, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. public lakes, but then private access, so it makes See, it a little got harder. This toxic shit going on. Oh now. no. This is terrible. We got a lot, uh -huh. a lot of ducks and fish dying right now because of it. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys get any? Did you? you uh, only one. One. Yeah, it was a tough day. 